It's it, Tuesday. Damn straight, it's Tuesday. And I'm Jen. And I'm Julie. And we are... Two Bitches Bitching. Bitching away. Ah, uh, so we're going to try a cupcake first. She made another pastry I'm supposed to try, and it's called... What is it called? It's a hot cocoa cupcake. Hot cocoa cupcake? <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, it's got some innards in it. Mm-hmm. Like an innard thing. What is going on in here? We got marshmallows. Baby I love marshmallows. marshmallows. I love marshmallows. I dissecting mm-hmm. it because that's how I eat shit. I dissect it. I'm like a rat. Mm. Oh, this shit's good. <laughs> I have to say. Yeah. This is better than the ugly cake. It's better than the ugly cake? Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's got marshmallow on top, too. It has marshmallow all over the place. I love marshmallow. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look. It's got innards. Marshmallow innards. You know what it's kind of like? What? It's better than it, though. Mm-hmm. You know those cupcakes? Those What are those things called with the inside? It's got the stuffing. The Hostess, it. the Drake's? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Shit, I need a napkin. <laughs> Should I? I'll, I'll be right back. Mm. She'll be back. So we got some fashion. Bad fashion. Actually... I picked up, I'm always in the thrifting stores, and I might as well start with these. And it's amazing some of the shit you see in there, because you're like, holy shit, somebody actually paid money money for that in an actual store, and had Mm -hmm. it in their closet and shit, and probably wore it. Mm. So there's a pair of cow boots. (laughs) It's real cow hair. Cow boots. Cow boots. Cow boots. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then... Did you buy them? No. (laughs) And that they didn't fit me anyway. <laughs> I probably would have. And look at these shoes. Look at these yellow. Those are crazy fucked looking. Up shoes. Yeah. And the best thing is yeah. Sasquatch flip flop slippers. <laughs> flip flop Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah. But I'm trying to figure I like out. The do you wear those in cold weather or warm weather? Because if you wear them in the cold weather, your toes would be sticking out. Yeah. It don't make no sense. I think they just flip flop for any given day. Any given day. So how's the pig? Oh, she's better. She's not, she doesn't have the runs no more. She's yeah. good. Yeah? No more runs. She's good. No more throwing up. She's all good. Okay, so you were telling me about the Midget Girl show. Oh, I usually hate these weird-ass reality shows because none of them are, 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 like, worthy of even watching. hmm But I got suckered in this week. I was sitting on the couch with the pig, and the pig liked the show, too. hmm And here's this Midget Girl show. It's about a group of girl midgets, women midgets. Yeah, and they're like models and stuff. Yeah, and they're like, they don't like the M word. And this one, she's like, you use the M word. So, damn. And I got suckered in. And and I, I couldn't stop watching the sh- that fucking midget I, show. Yeah, I saw it a couple of times. Did you? Yeah. But, it, yeah. It's I, just I as bad as the 500-pound life. <laughs> yeah, no, that's bad, too. But there's, like, one, though, that looks normal, except she's really, really short. Oh, okay. There's, like, one that's okay. And then yeah, the she's others the one that's like, from a foreign land. Yeah. Somewhere. But then the other ones are, like, mm-hmm. you know, total midget, midge, midges. I don't midges. know. Midges. I don't know, but they Little prefer, people. yes, they prefer that and some other word for mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... I don't know. I don't know why I, I got suckered into that show. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. And so I had a little issue. I had to go to, you know, those walk-in ER things. Yes. Because I figured I'm not driving all the way down to fucking Cold Spring to go to the doctor for something stupid, right? Mm-hmm. I had a, a urinary tract infection, right? So I'm sitting in the office, and this fucking doctor comes in. And he looks like fucking that weird doctor from American Horror Story. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, not kidding you. And he had the beard and the look and the whole uh-huh. look just like. So he kind of walks in with his hands in his pockets and he's like, so. Yes. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, is she checking your pee? Is she checking your pee? He used the word pee. Pee. Doctors don't do that. You're supposed to use the word urine. Mm-hmm. That's not professional. And nope. I'm like, what? And so he used the word a second time. And I was like. And he's like, well, does it hurt when you pee? And I'm like, what the fuck is up with that? That's why he's working in the fucking walk-in place and he's not in the goddamn hospital. Or a regular doctor's office. Mm-hmm. And he looked like Did a fucking... Did he enjoy your pee? I don't know. I mean, I got antibiotics and I left, but mm-hmm. holy shit. Bedside manner was not... <laughs> just not 
right? Just odd. Right, right, right. It was just odd. Oh, yeah. So, I got to talk, right? Uh-huh. I got my sexy Jesus shirt on. She's, she's obsessed, okay. all right? She's, I'm worried. He is not sexy Jesus anymore. Thank goodness. I got to show you what he looks like now. He's not the Jesus no more. It's sad. <laughs> Oh, the glare. You there you go. Well, no, you gotta like okay. angle it. Angle yeah. it. There you go. He's got like short, short blonde, blonde hair. Look, look. I, I show you. Oh my goodness. I hope he sings good because that's all he has going for him. He 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 sings good. I mean, like we can just go on this, and on and on. She's obsessed. On and on. Obsessed. Ah, oh. I prefer Marilyn Manson. That's mm. who I prefer. Okay? He's creative and he's creepy. Okay. So everything is like in in the morning everything is frozen. Yes. But by afternoon everything is thawed. Yes. It's like frozen thawed. Frozen thawed. Frozen thawed. You know what it reminds me of? Because I have to bring in the death a little bit of a death thing. Yeah. You know when you're in the um the mausoleums? Yeah. That's what your body does. It freezes and it thaws and it freezes and it thaws and it freezes and it thaws. Why would you want to be put in one of those? You know, when it's cold weather. Because it's a little cold house. Weather, hot weather. We put a bar. You could come have have lunch. I know, but I'm just saying that's what happens. Like you're freezing, you're thawing, you're freezing, you're thawing. Did you ever see the pictures like every once in a blue moon? We put like one central leaks? air. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I never thought of a central air thing. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. We put All right. Central we'll have it air. regulated. Yes. With... Yeah, mm -hmm. with temperatures. All right, regulated yep. temperature. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not worried anymore. Emergency oil refill. Holy fuck. I think it's going to be fuck. done. I couldn't get yes. the freaking oil company to come as quick as I needed, so I had to go to the fucking gas station again and, fill up. and fucking fill up the fucking containers and shit again, you know? Mm. I'm like, I'm done with this shit. Mm. Done with this shit. I saw... My ladybug infestation is coming back. That means uh, spring's coming. Yes. And I hear birds chirping. Mm -hmm. I heard them chirping today. We didn't. We don't have There's the ladybugs hope. yet. You don't? I no. had a few. Okay. Not so they're many. coming back. I had the back. birds, though. The birds on the Yeah. Day. So forget yes. about the groundhog shit. Mm -hmm. It's all about the ladybugs and the birds. birds. Yes. And then you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And what about this distilled water? Ah, she complimented me on, the, I have my hair soft today. Do you know mm -hmm. why? Now, I don't know if anybody know, realizes this, but I don't know. It depends on where you live and what water you have. Mm -hmm. But if there's a lot of calcium in your water and you yeah. have hard water, um, it's not good for your hair. Because all the minerals and the crap and I the have shit well water. weigh down your hair. Well, what, well, you got to, do you mm -hmm. have a lot of, you know how you know if you have a lot of calcium in your water? So if you get that white film on your yes. stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buy yourself some distilled water. The gallons and wash your hair with that shit, and that's why my hair looks better today. Very cool. I'm telling you. I'm gonna go get. And some I didn't do it water. for a while, mm -hmm. and I finally did it, and it was like night. It's like night and day. Hmm. So I'm telling you now. I'm telling you. Yeah. So it's like now all the stores are gonna be. There's not gonna be any distilled water in the stores now. Yeah, because they're all gonna go out. I bought they're a few. Listen to you. I bought a few the other day. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Freaking Ulta. <laughs> Ulta, my daughter suckered me to go. Suckered like always. me to go to Ulta. Like always. I wasn't planning on getting nothing but a fucking eyebrow stick, right? Mm -hmm. Eyebrow pencil, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And she's trying to get me to buy her like a $50 eyeshadow palette again. And I'm like, no, I can't. This is crazy. But then after all the little shit she bought, like mm -hmm. you know, she, the cheaper shit, ended up being like 60 bucks. <sighs> but that was with my shit too. But I was like, you can't go, I can't go into the fucking store. You can't go shopping anymore, dude. I, you I'm gotta go online. to go. You gotta go online. It's cheaper and, online. Yeah, and it, do But all it's the whole stuff. experience of sniffing all the stuff and trying it out mm -hmm. and putting the lipstick all over. We walk out, we look like we're in a war. We had like all these <laughs> lipstick colors on our hands. Yeah. Okay. It's not good. Caitlin, nine, right? She, uh -huh. she's, she's starting doing it. it. She's into that. Yep. Now. Oh, bath and shit. Body Works. Oh, starts at Bath and Body Works and then it goes to Sephora. Yep. Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Way $60. cheaper. $60. Oh, shit. Yeah. On what? Soap? 
Bath and Body Works cream. She's into the oh, cream. Shit. And then they have the little hand sanitizers with the yep. little cases that oh, are all Oh, cute, yeah, all right? they're separate, right? Yeah, the yeah, cases yeah. and then the sanitizers. So she needs 20 of those. She needs them. Right? She needs them. And at then they have 20. the perfume. Yep. Right? Oh, yeah. And then she it's needs those, right? It's not cheap. And then I, I, she wanted to go in the Sephora, right? Oh, and I was no, like, don't bring her ass in there. You're getting wet and wild. That's it. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. The wet and wild brand. I yeah. got stuck with the fucking wet and wild brand, and my daughter's got the fucking what's with Urban Decay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Laundry Lundry. pods. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one having issues with this, but I heard other people say that I am not the only one. I Do don't have Do not it. use laundry pods. You end up getting a film on some of your clothes that ends up when you put your shit in the dryer, mm -hmm. that the film of the of the whatever is the pot is made out of mm -hmm. ends up being on your clothes. Then you gotta rewash your fucking clothes. It dries and it's like a hard little plasticky film. Yeah, I use the Tide Pods, right? It and don't matter which ones they are. Yeah, I didn't see that. Doesn't matter. Well, look around. Mm -hmm. Look, you might be, you know, start small. And then I called. I called. I got some coupons and all because I complained. Mm -hmm. But they're like, oh, you know, you're supposed to put the pod at the bottom of the washer so it all so it gets submerged totally in the water and it might not be like dissolving 100. percent But I'm like, if this, this is not cool, right? You shouldn't have to worry about that. The whole idea of it is taking it and throwing the shit in the fucking thing. Yeah, and then having to take care yeah. of it. Yeah. Now I'm not buying that shit no more. No. Nope. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Don't you buy those pods? You're gonna ruin your shit. You know it doesn't ruin the clothes, but you gotta rewash them. I uh, buy the Tide. Liquid. I'm buying regular liquid shit. Mm -hmm. We got the clown. Oh, clowns we got... are evil. Clowns are mean. They're... Yeah, I don't like clowns. I bought this little guy at an antique shop. Look at him. He's got issues. He's psycho. He's psycho clown. Yeah. Don't mess around. Anybody else out there have a fear of clowns? And how the how much was that? Oh, he's like six bucks. But you he spent six bucks he's on that. Worth every penny. It has holes and shit. That's what even makes it better. I For love, six dollars. Yeah, yeah. I love like beat up shit. It mm -hmm. makes I don't know what it is. I love beat up shit. Look at him. And he's a he's a messed up looking thing, ain't he? Mm-hmm. Don't mess with him. At night he comes alive and he like <laughs> tramples through the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would freak me out. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, all you hear is the <laughs> Oh, so I have a good story, right? Oh, okay. So we go to a gig last Wednesday, right? Uh -huh. And on the way home, we have to sit in the middle of the Bronx at oh, 12 o'clock, right? Dang. Midnight until about 2.30 in the morning, flat tire. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Didn't get home. We were going to get home about 11 o'clock, right? Didn't get home until 3.30 in the morning. Damn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Triple A, right? Oh shit! Triple Day don't don't even want to go to the middle of the Bronx. Yeah, at true. that hour. <laughs> Triple A's like, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Triple A is mm -hmm. just like, where are you at? Mm -hmm. uh, we're at the in the Bronx, in the middle of the Bronx, right? We have the FDR. Um, Ooh. yeah, take about two hours, right? They're two waiting hours. For daylight. They were waiting for daylight. <laughs> That's wrong. And then the guy gets there, right? Mm -hmm. And it only takes him five minutes to change the tire. I'm like, you couldn't come. Now we're in a half go. You know, when I worked at a funeral home, mm -hmm. I got lost in the middle of the Bronx with a body in the back. <laughs> and I didn't want to, I was stopping to ask for directions. And I didn't want to get out of the van because I was afraid the van would get stolen. Where were you? Castle Hill I Avenue know, in the Bronx? I fuck I was, but nobody spoke English. And I was like. You okay. were in Castle Hill like, Avenue in the Bronx. With the window and I'm like, excuse Westchester me. Westchester Avenue. Yeah. And at that time, mm -hmm. I did not have GPS. Yeah. Because my boss was all old fashioned and shit, and you didn't have that. Yeah. I was lost in the sauce for a while. <laughs> yeah, but I made it back. I don't know how I did. I with, think I, I with was, a body in the back. Oh, in yeah, the back. In the back, yep. I was like, I'm not leaving this van. So they'd be stealing the body. They'll steal the van. They'll steal the van then, with the body. And then I'm screwed and fired and shit yeah. <laughs> at that point. So I'm like, I'm not leaving the van. So <laughs> it's not good to get lost in the Bronx. Yeah. So what was it? Like a funeral van? No, no, no. I had to go pick up a body and bring it to the funeral home. Yeah, yeah. But did somewhere. it say funeral home on the van? No, no. Mm -mm. No? Just a plain van. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm. me, lost. You lost with body not in good. the middle of the Bronx. It's not good. Only me, man. That shit's funny. 
it's, it's fucked up. Mm-hmm. I was nervous. I was a sweatin. Yeah. So we showed everybody our t-shirts. Yes, we did. And we showed everybody my non-sexy Jesus now. Nice. But we are having school. Fine. <laughs> having a full week of school. I couldn't How even get unusual. it out. I'm so happy about Very it. Very unusual yes. to have a full week. It's going to be like 45, 50. Holy crap. All I week. saw that. All week long. There's a nor'easter coming next week, though. Did you hear? What? Nor'easter. With snow and shit? I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was going to have I'm a kidding. I hope I'm kidding. I hope I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> well, I did see that we might get snow Saturday and Sunday this week. No. Mm hmm. Well, just a flurry, maybe, right? I don't know. What? I have no idea. I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm going to be upset about that if we got more snow. No, that can't be. I don't know. All right. That's fucked up. Well, you tell everybody about your toothache, and I'm going to check the weather. Oh, all right. So, you know, I had this tooth thing going on, and, of course, I ignored it forever because I was like, it doesn't hurt, right? So if it doesn't hurt, you don't touch it, right? So I ended up, of course, on the weekend in pain, in pain. And so we called the dentist, and they're like, well, can you come Tuesday at 2.30? I'm like... Really? Like, no. So I went, I walked in yesterday. I just walked in. Mm -hmm. And and they did my x-ray and stuff. Now I need a fucking root canal. Ah. Fuck. I had the root canal from hell. Okay. Oh, really? See, I hate, I, I don't know. I just. Yeah. They said, they're like, oh, it's it only takes 45 minutes. It's not a big deal. Mm hmm I'm like, it's just the whole idea of hearing the drills and the. Right. And, and splattering of your tooth particles. Mm hmm I, I had. An ongoing root canal from February until April of 2003. Why was it ongoing? Didn't they not finish it? Well, that's when I was pregnant with Emily. So they started it. Oh, so they couldn't And like, then they finish couldn't it. finish it, right? Mm -hmm. So then when I went to have it finished, right? Mm -hmm. They finally finished it and they said, oh no, uh, for some reason we think it's cracked. So we have to take your tooth out. And I said, bullshit with yeah, that. Yeah, after all that So shit. I went to a different dentist, right? And I had a third canal. You're only supposed to have two. I had three. And he fixed it, capped it, and well, good. Was that the fly-by-night dentist on the side of the road? No, no, no. This the was, first time? the first one was a reputable dentist. He, he was the, the doctor that I saw for my, my UTI. Yeah, your pee doctor. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's doing everything. That's dentist. what he's doing. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So we got a relationship oh, yes, question we today. Do. Oh, yeah. And I, so, I checked the weather, right? Well, what's the weather? And the weather, right, mm -hmm. is actually, it changed to rain Saturday and Sunday. Oh, see, but Tuesday, it's, all good. it's all good. The temps look good, though. 54, 46, 45, 41, 43, 52, 45, 39, 37. Hike! Isn't that what they say for football? Hike. Hike? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't like any football. Hike? I football is stupid. I know, uh, I hate football. Yeah, Tuesday, look at the snow. Ooh, there's a snowflake uh, for next Tuesday? Yeah, at 45 degrees. Oh, they're what full they of are? shit. They're, they're full, full of duty, shit. and it's too early to tell anyone. Anyway, right. So don't, they don't worry know. about it. No, they don't know. Don't be worrying about that. Mm -mm. So our relationship question is, what do you do if there's women mm -hmm. private messaging your boyfriend or husband or whatever significant other, like things like, so, are you still dating so and so? And you should break up with them. So, what did what do you do if 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 I hunt them down and pop their tits? Hunt them down. Mm -hmm. Hunt them down. I'm making the voodoo dolls. Honey. Yeah, I got the voodoo mm -hmm. dolls. You know what it is? People number one, they have no life. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Yeah. All right. They have no life. They are bored. Get your own man. Yeah, stuff like that, right? Mm. And uh, that's just. I'm just Hunt mean. So, yes, hunt them down. I mm -hmm. have voodoo dolls cooking. So anybody who mm -hmm. needs a voodoo doll, hit me up. Mm. Hit me up. Yep. Right, so people be getting, like, pains and shit in their shoulders. Yeah. And their, well, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Their ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their ass, right? Mm-hmm. Their legs, their feet. They don't know what hit them. Mm -hmm. You should just put it I in their throat so they can't why. talk anymore. Yeah. In their fingers so they can't type anymore. So what else? What mm -hmm. else now? I don't know. We're, after Easter, we're finally getting Pretzel Girl. Oh, it's, it's everything's backed up. She can't come this weekend. Yeah. So we're not doing the video this weekend. Yeah. And then we got maybe, right? Uh-huh. In a couple of weeks, we're going to have Kenyatta. 
All right. Because mm-hmm. we've been talking about having guests, and we ain't got no guests We don't, yet. but we got food going on. But we got food. Yeah. We're yeah. getting there. Somebody getting called there. us the new Hoda and Kathy Lee. You know, I don't even know who the fuck Hoda is. Who the fuck is that? Hoda is I on watch these shows. the fourth hour of today. Hoda and Kathy Lee. Oh, yeah. That's the, yeah, the anchors. We're better than that. Yeah, we're, we're funny. More, we're... You we know, curse. We're more interesting. We curse because mm. why not? You, mm-hmm. I mean, she has voodoo what is, dolls what is and the life crazy candles without cursing. Mm-hmm. You haven't brought any no crazy stuff, except Wait, for crazy me. clown. Yeah, I got a. You know what? You should come to my house next week, and we'll video from my house. Okay. All right, and I got some shit there. And you got a lot of shit there. I got a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit. Oh, I should be, wait. Wait, I was yeah. watching Hoarders yesterday. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, <laughs> Hoarders and and and. Mm-hmm. This woman, and, and you can't really make fun of these people because they have, it's a severe problem, okay? Mm. But she had her refrigerator filled with dead cats, her, <laughs> her fridge and her freezer, because she was saving them and she didn't want to, like, bury them and whatever, mm-hmm. so she had them. Holy crap. And then they found, like, I mean, like, dead um, Ziploc things that mm-hmm. turned, that liquefied, that were left in her closets mm-hmm. and... Wow. Yeah. So we, we were okay. We don't have problems. Mm-hmm. You, you know, this, so it's all right. And so, um, I don't know, sometimes I, I fear that I'm heading in that direction, but no, I don't have anything in my, in my fridge and nothing like that. No. no, if I had anything. Like some things are so horrible. Yeah. I'm like, how do they not smell that shit? It, I'm like, if I had shit like that like, in my, in my. Yeah, no. We, freezer, right? Rob be putting me in a. In a home. Mental. Yeah. In a mental home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, these people live alone, obviously. Mm-hmm. So, you know. But damn! Yeah. So, Hoarders, watch Hoarders and the Midget Girl Show. The Midget Girl Show. And mm-hmm. my last bit of advice, right? If somebody is trying to take your man, right? Oh. Go find them. Go fast, right? And kill them. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now we're going to get there's death threats. People no. are going to no, be calling the popo on us now. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I would definitely, definitely give them a lesson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They should be afraid. Yeah, they should be. Yeah, especially of her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows that I'm psycho, so nobody would mess That's with That's right. Her. Psycho mm-hmm. and psycho too. Yeah. Psycho one. Psycho one. Psycho two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have a lovely rest of the week. Yes. And we will see you Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. next week. All right. See you next week. Bye. Bye.